Hello everyone. Welcome to an information technology tutorial on a multi-factor authentication and self-service password reset. So what is MFA? Multi-factor authentication is an additional layer of security that keeps your account safe. With MFA, you will be using something that you know, which is your UAM password, with something that you have, which is your smartphone, to confirm your identity. The IT department has been working really hard on rolling this new feature out for students, faculty, and staff, and we're finally here, so we're really excited. MFA, which will help you better secure your email and other Microsoft Office products, as well as other UAM resources, will help better protect your account as well as UAM information. Some common ways that you may be using MFA currently out in the real world are using an ATM when you have to put in your PIN number for a bank card, or when you're paying for gas, when you have a credit card and you use your zip code, or logging into your bank account online and it prompts you to enter a security code. Now, what is self-service password reset? Well, this will require students to register to securely reset your own Active Directory password from anywhere using any device so that students, faculty, and staff can initiate the password reset from any browser anywhere. So let's go ahead and take a look at setting up MFA and your self-service password reset. First, we're going to go to the UAM website, which is www.uamont.edu. Once we're on the home screen, we're going to scroll down until we see information for, and we're going to click on students. On this page, we're going to scroll down until we see IT resources. So what we're going to do is first set up our MFA. So we're going to click on email. As you see, you will see a Microsoft Outlook information required box to set up our MFA. So let's click next. This is where we will set up our security requirements for authentication. So step one, how should we contact you? As we select a verification method, we have three different types. We have authentication phone, which it'll actually send you a call to your cell phone or your office phone, which is the second option listed, or you can select mobile app. We recommend that you use the Microsoft Office Authenticator app, which can be downloaded on an Android or an iPhone. I'm going to select mobile app. Then I'm going to select how I want to be notified. Do I want to receive notifications for verification or use a verification code? For this tutorial, I'm going to select receive notifications for verification. Next, I'm going to click set up. On this new screen, we will see a QR code that is provided for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our phone and download the Microsoft Office Authenticator app. Okay, on our phone, we're going to go to the App Store, type in Microsoft Authenticator, and then we're going to download the Microsoft Authenticator app. Once it's done downloading, we're going to open the app. We're going to agree. And then we're going to scan the QR code. And then we're going to scan it. And we should be setting it up. Once I do that, I'm going to click Next. I have a message that says mobile app has been configured for notifications of verification code. I'm going to click Next. On my cell phone, I have received an approval for a sign-in, so I click Approve. Now for step three, it wants a backup just in case that you lose your phone or you, you know, get another phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the United States for where we live. And then we're going to enter my cell phone number. After that's done, I'm going to click done while it verifies my phone number. And 
And that's it. Now I have been set up for MFA. So now I can access my email and my other Microsoft products as well as other UM resources on campus. Now I'm going to log out of my account and I'm going to show you what it looks like to verify with authentication. Once I go back to the UAM home screen, I can then scroll down and click on the same steps we did previously. So first I'm going to click on information for students. I will scroll down the page until I see IT resources and then I'm going to click on email. Since I have two accounts, I'm going to click on the first one that I just set up, which is my student account. I'll enter my UAM password and click sign in. Now a notification has been sent to my cell phone for me to approve. Once I approve it on my cell phone, a new screen will appear where I can click stay signed in. So that way I will not be required to authenticate every single time. So I'll just click yes. And just like that, we have MFA set up. Now let's go take a look at the second part of this tutorial, which is the self-service password reset. So as we go back to the UAM website, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we see information for, and we're going to click on students. And we're going to scroll down until we see this red button under IT resources that says IT support. This will bring you to the information technology page. As we scroll down the page, we will see three drop down menus. We're going to click on this first one, which says information for students. The first link that appears will say register to unlock and change password with Office 365. So let's click on this document link. This will give you a document to walk through the steps of registering your self-service password reset. So let's begin walking through the steps of how to set up our SSPR. Let's click the link provided in the document. To make sure we can reset your password, we'll need to collect some information that we can verify who you are. And Microsoft will not use this information. So it requires an office phone not configured, authentication phone set up to my cell phone number, authentication email not configured, and security questions not configured. So let's go ahead and walk through these steps. So I'm gonna set up my office phone number and I'm gonna select the United States. I'm going to select call me. So what it should do is call my office phone. Thank you for using Microsoft sign in verification system. Please press the pound key to finish your verification. If you do not initiate this, your sign in was successfully verified. Goodbye. Okay, I can see I've successfully set up my office phone. So let's set up my authentication for my cell phone. I'm going to verify that this is my correct phone number. So I can either do a text me or a call me. For this tutorial, I'm just going to do a call me. Now my cell phone should be ringing. Thank you for using Microsoft sign in verification system. Please press the pound key to finish your verification. If you did not initiate this verification, some, your sign-in was successfully verified. Goodbye. Okay, now I can see that my cell phone has been verified. The next one is gonna authenticate my email. So I'm gonna click the set up now button. This is where I will type in a verification for an email. Okay. 
As you can see, we do not need to use our work or school email address because we don't have access to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a personal email address. And click email me. Now an email should be sent to my personal email address to verify that I am who I am. I have just received the email and received the verification code, which I'll type in now. Click verify. Okay, got that done. And the last step we're gonna do is our security questions. So here we have five security questions. So let's set them up now. I'm going to select what's my father's middle name. Question two, I'm going to select what is the name of your first pet? I'm going to select what is the make and model of your first car or motorcycle for my third one. For question four, I'm going to do the uh, last name of my favorite school teacher. And question five, I'm going to do the most famous person that I've met. Now, make sure that you do not give any of these answers to anybody that um, we can verify that this is who you are. So just keep these to yourself, okay? Now we're gonna click Save Answers. Okay, so when you get done, you should now have all four green check marks. So we're gonna click Finish. And just like that, we have set up our self-service password reset. So if we go back to the UM website, we can go under information for students and we can scroll down to under where it says IT resources, we can click on IT support. Now, if we click on the drop down menu for information for students, what this allows us to do is actually unlock and change our own password. So this comes in handy in case we get locked out of our Active Directory passwords um, after normal business hours. So that is why we set up the registration for you to do that on your end. So that is a tutorial on setting up multi-factor authentication and setting up your self-service password reset. If you have any questions regarding these two new features, please reach out to the IT department at 870 Four six zero ten thirty six, or you can come see us in Harris Hall, room 124. So thank you so much for watching this short tutorial and have a wonderful day.